there's still a stigma out there. A lot of females think that it's not the career for them, that it's it's a career for a strong man, that to be able to drag somebody out of a burning building, you have to be physically built. So this is the weight of an average person. This is 165 pounds. It is tough, as I found. This is one of the tests you have to pass to become a firefighter. It's a tough job to get into in the first place, and as a female, it's a lot more challenging. Obviously, I have to work a little bit harder than the boys. The Ontario Association of Fire Chiefs launched their new candidate testing service today. It's to get more women and minorities to suit up and get motivated to become firefighters. I think we all can do a better job. I know Toronto's doing an okay job. Do we need to do a better job? Absolutely. In 2012, fire services reported only 4.2% of its staff as visible minorities, while they account for 40% of the population. Two, she's down. Toronto Fire also employs 5.2% women. Other fire services have similar issues. Currently, we do not get as many applications from those groups as we would like to, but each time we go out, we make a little more inroad into them. The new standardized testing will begin the first week of May, and it'll launch with the Toronto Fire Services at Pearson Airport, Rima Carr City News.